Three 15 year olds are charged in connection to bringing a stolen weapon to Broughton High School. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. Everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. We have been following these developments since yesterday when the campus was locked down. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco live outside of campus. Now, Mac, you've been looking into what kind of guns those students are accused of having and if it was loaded. Well, what we know so far is that those three students are facing multiple charges, but that's really all Raleigh police are saying at this point. Both RPD and the Wake County Public School District won't say what kind of gun those students had or if it was loaded. Two of the students are charged with possession of a stolen gun and carrying a concealed weapon. The other is charged with possessing a gun on school campus, having a stolen gun, carrying a concealed weapon, and giving or selling a weapon to a minor. Under the Gun Free Schools Act, principals are required to suspend students who either bring or possess guns on school property for 365 calendar days, but they can modify that on a case by case basis. I asked the Wake County School District how long the students are suspended, but a spokesperson told me student privacy laws prohibit them from sharing that information. I also asked where the stolen gun came from, what type of gun it is, and if it was loaded. But the district didn't know. I called and sent multiple emails to Raleigh police, but they didn't answer those questions either. Within the past month, there have been multiple reports of students bringing guns to schools across the state. I reached out to the NC Center for Safer Schools, which was formed after the deadly Sandy Hook shootings in 2013. I asked if anyone could talk about what's being done to make schools safer, but never got a response. And we will, of course, keep trying to get those questions answered and let you know once we hear back. Live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. All right, Mac, thank you.